What is SETI? You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Hello, and thank you for tuning in. Odds are that you're watching this video from somewhere on Earth. And that's a pretty easy assumption because every single human being that we know of has lived on or does live on the planet Earth. But what if humans aren't the only intelligent life force in the game? The game being reality and the universe. Uh, that's Matt. I'm Ben. This is Stuff They Don't Want You To Know. And this week, we are looking at the search for extraterrestrial intelligent life. Now, why do we say intelligent? That's a great question. Uh, many of the possible life forms somewhere out in the universe or even in our solar system uh, would most likely be tiny, tiny microorganisms. You know, uh, that is what scientists are looking for when they search for signs of life on, on Mars or maybe even Europa and things like that. SETI, however, is a very different mission. SETI is an acronym that stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. And what SETI does through a number of projects is try to listen to the, the noise of the universe that surrounds us and somewhere in that inky darkness find a signal from another civilization. This is, to say the least, a hugely controversial idea. While it is noble, and while just the mere size of the universe lets us know that it's probable that intelligent life exists somewhere, a lot of people who are critics of SETI say that we're just wasting money, just throwing millions of dollars down a hole on, on some fool's errand because the gaps in time and space between us and another intelligent life form uh, mean that we will never ever be able to cross those chasms and know of one another. However, SETI supporters argue that this isn't just a valid search. This is a crucial one. This is uh, humanity's chance to answer one of the most important questions in human existence. What exactly is life? You know, what, what is intelligence? For anyone who's seen Star Trek or, or Star Wars or most other science fiction, we know that uh, humans tend to think of alien life forms as something kind of like us, you know, kind of humanoid with understandable motivations and fears and desires. SETI is not like this. SETI is not looking for some sort of science fiction made for TV portrayal of, you know, an ancient civilization uh, or Vulcans or whatever. What they're looking for is hard scientific data, quantitative evidence of a civilization reaching out into the darkness just the same way that our civilization is doing. And they're not just doing this from one place. Uh, SETI is operating several projects, Project Beta, Project Meta, Project Serendip. The names go on and on. And of course, most of them are acronyms. So this leads us to two of the biggest questions. Number one, how do you search an infinite space for a, a finite, discrete uh, piece of evidence? You know, not just finite in terms of where it's located, but in terms of when it's located, because let's remember that these distances are so vast that we're on uh, a billion year delay in some cases. Second question, and I think by far one of the most important questions is this, has SETI found anything out there? Have any of the electronic eyes and ears we've been casting around the universe uh, seen a glint or, or, or uh, seen a spark of something that might be like us? The answer, strangely enough, is maybe. And that's what our upcoming episode is about. So please check it out. Tune in to learn more about the wow signal, whether we actually intercepted a message from another civilization somewhere out in space. Matt and I are pretty excited about this one. We hope that you enjoy it. We also hope that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Check out our audio podcast and our very own website, stuffthedontwantyoutoknow.com. 
Another reason that Matt and I are so excited about this series is that it's a collaboration. We're working with one of our favorite conspiracy channels, All Time Conspiracies. And hi guys, if you're watching this, thanks for having us aboard. Uh, that's not all though, we're working with several other channels that you might recognize to create linked videos that build a larger web together. If you think about it, you could say that we're conspiring with other organizations to make a mega video. And so our first time doing this kind of experiment, we do hope you enjoy it. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Let us know uh, what other space related topics we should look into. And as always, if you would like to show up on a listener mail edition of our podcast, send us an email post haste. We are conspiracy at discovery.com. Oh.